Hello, Professor Beshwait. Hello, class. I am Victor Pargus, and I'm going to present to you my research topic proposal. So I plan to do I plan to do my research project on the funding of the arts in the United States, and the question I intend to answer through my research is if the arts should receive government funding. <laughs> I intend to include general or background subtopics, including how the funding of arts actually works and how arts have been funded historically. I then want to include subtopics that are in favor of funding the arts, such as the importance of art and the benefits of funding the arts. I also want to include subtopics that are against the funding of arts, such as government influence on art a critical view on the value and legitimacy of all government funded art and the detriment of funding arts. Here are some facts I've gathered in my preparation for my research paper. The arts are an integral part of the United States economy. I have found, for example, in Maine, Arts and cultural organizations added a value of $1.5 billion to the state's gross state product Bruh. and provided up to 17,000 jobs. Uh, and that was reported in 2020 by Bangor Daily News. Also, in the United Kingdom, the arts have overtaken the agriculture sector in terms of contribution to the UK economy, despite continued public funding cuts. Now, even though that's uh, reports from the United Kingdom, I think you could use that uh, and apply that to the United States. Bruh. And so moving on from economic facts, uh, the benefits of arts funding has also been shown in the success of the organizations that have been funded by the government. So, for example, Chicago Steppenwolf Theater has become one of the nation's leading theater companies in just 30 years, and Jazz at Lincoln Center has become the largest nonprofit jazz organization in the world in about 10 years, both thanks to government funding. Another fact I've gathered is that in total, the government provides 6.7% of all art funding in the United States, in a work published in 2012 by the NEA. And this fact, I think, could be used to argue both ways, for and against uh, government funding of the arts. And so a final fact I've collected is that a lot of arts organizations that have received government funding have produced art that um, to critics of government funding for the arts have been seen as offensive or lacking in uh, artistic value. So for example, the New York Shakespeare Festival in 2017 held a performance of Julius Caesar in which Caesar was made to look like Donald Trump. And the festival at the time received $30 million in taxpayer grants and more than $600,000 from the NEA. So that's, I guess you could use that people. That's something that people use to argue against a government funding of the arts saying it's not valuable because they're doing stuff like that. So, finally, moving on to what I hope to achieve through this research. Uh, so, I am very biased on this subject because I love the arts, all kinds of art, and I plan to work in the education of the arts in the future. So, before conducting this research, I had a, a firm but uninformed opinion that the arts deserve uh, more government funding just because I think that would be cool, just because I think I like it, so I should get more money. So, through this research, I intend to challenge my previously held belief and see if it stays the same or if my mind is changed. And that's what I hope to get out of this. So thank you, Professor Beshwait, and thank you, class.